was a tense morning for some people in Delta Township on Sunday as more than 50 law enforcement officers swarmed the neighborhood looking for an armed and dangerous man. Fox 47's Christopher Lane reports. You never, uh, as they say, expect that it's going to happen in, in your neighborhood. Uh, things like that just don't happen in our neighborhood here in Delta Township. Michael Thompson is talking about the dozens of police officers he saw searching for a suspect who fled police early Sunday morning. The suspect, identified as David Sprigg, carjacked a pickup truck near the Lansing Mall and eventually fled on foot after a short pursuit. At that point, when the foot pursuit began, uh, it was very short. The individual had a gun pointed to his head. Our deputies attempted to negotiate with the individual. The suspect took off again. Uh, the suspect did fire a round. Uh, the deputies backed off at that point. This quiet neighborhood saw dozens of police officers here trying to find the suspect where they eventually found him in a shed on the street behind me. Eaton County Sheriff Tom Reich tells me that the suspect had shot himself in the head before he was detained by police. He was transported to the hospital by Delta Fire EMS where the last I knew he was uh, still alive. Neighbors told me the search was terrifying. We heard the helicopter a couple times over, you know, in the early morning hours, um, finally at six, one week saw us, you know, see the spotlight, realized that they were looking for somebody. Police started working their way up streets near Sharp Park with canines, helicopters, and dozens of officers, eventually finding Sprague just after 9 o'clock. Sheriff Reich says the priority was to make sure people were safe. Our main concern was the neighborhoods. If, if he had kicked in a door or something, the safety of our people are very important to us. So that was number one. Uh, and we had enough people out here to, to make that happen, to make our community safe again. In Delta Township, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. Some residents in the area said they were concerned because they didn't get much information to what was going on. Sheriff Reich says they didn't send a Nexile alert because they didn't want people to try and take it into their own hands.